All right. So we are here with uh, Limestone head coach Mike Fury. Uh, Mike, thanks for joining us today as uh, we get ready for the 2022 season. And uh, just want to start off, uh, tell us a little bit about the team coming in for 2022. Um, obviously, this is going to be your uh, first year back at Limestone after a, a couple years in the NFL. But uh, just what are things looking like and um, how's the team shaping up? Well, obviously, as you know, I mean, we won't uh, we won't know a lot of these, you know, a lot of these questions until uh, once we get started with camp, which we're excited about. But, you know, there, there's uh, obviously, as you know, there's every team has talent and uh, uh, that uh, I inherited, obviously, when I got here, had some had some guys that uh, obviously this school means a lot to them. And, and they're uh, definitely great representations of Stone football. Oh, and they're excited about the upcoming season. Obviously, as anybody else does, we go out and recruit. And so uh, we're very excited about the class that we have coming in, the class that we're bringing those guys together to be able to give you an exact answer of our expectations and what we really have and, and all those kind of things. Uh, it's really unknown right now to get, uh, get going to camp. Yeah, obviously, uh, you guys start camp here in just a, a couple weeks, and, and you'll definitely have a bigger feel for things. But um, we've got a lot of new faces coming into the sack this year. Emery and Henry, Erskine and Barton all join the mix. Uh, how do you think that's going to change the dynamics of the league and possibly even the competitiveness? You know, I think is, 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 I think the sack is, I believe the sack is, you know, one of the most prominent conferences in the country in regards to our division. I've known that for a long time, even before I came to Lions first. And you know about the Lenore Rhines, the Wingates, the Newberries, the Carson Newmans. I mean, history of all those schools, their football programs has been uh, obviously very, very respectable. And so, you know, when you when you start adding guys to this conference, it kind of speaks to how you have you know, the competitiveness and the competition that's in this conference, you know, and, and guys are wanting to come in and join this conference because of the, obviously, the standard that's set and uh, the way the sack is ran. And you know, I think it's, it's, uh, it's, it's value, to be honest with you. And that, that was kind of like our idea, you know, our first go around when we, when we wanted to become partners with the sack and we wanted to become members of the sack. It was, it was one, obviously, because of the, the tradition that the sack brings in regards to the the, the uh, you know just the way things are are, are uh, you know have been developed the way things that have been laid out the competition that's in it the schools that are in it and so um, you know obviously so it speaks volume about the you know our conference in regards to people wanting to come in. Yeah, uh, we've added a new level to that this year. Obviously, we're going to have divisional play. And then during the last week of the season, we'll take the top two teams in the, in the divisions and play an actual championship game. Does that change kind of the way you go into the season and what you talk with your team as opposed to just, hey, the team with the most wins at the end of the season in conference is the champion as opposed to now having a championship game? Yeah, I, I, I great i think it's a you know again it shows you the uh the, the mindset of our conference it shows you how our conference wants to you know kind of set a standard out there and and obviously you know when you look at division one football and all the how, how they all have conference plays and how they all have that championship game and the attention that it brings you know the attention that it brings to the conference you know to the conference uh you know when you allow the top two teams to have an opportunity to play for that title that obviously you know creates a lot of clarity you know at the end of that game of you know yeah. who wins that conference so I, so I think it's a it's a motivational tool obviously for players to get to that game uh, you know it, it brings a lot more excitement to the regular season to get to that game instead of just relying on you know a record that you know you got to get there and then you got to win it and uh, I think everything that the SAC has done in regards to the way they've evolved this conference uh, is, is just, it's unbelievable and very commendable. And, and uh, obviously, as Limestone University and representing the Limestone University football program, we're obviously very, very, very proud to be in this conference. Fantastic. Um, all right, so heading into this season, who is your biggest rival? Who do you think will be? You know, right now, to be honest with you, Christian, and I'm telling our team this, I, I think our biggest rival is ourselves. 
you know, uh, you know, week in and week out in this conference, you're going to play a really good football team. Um, I think when you when you look at the SAC conference, from what I know and, and from what I've learned and just doing some research, I think we put our conference last year put more guys in the National Football League uh, throughout the draft than any other conference out there outside of Division One. Um, so that speaks about the, the, the you know obviously the talent level that's in this conference uh, week in and week out. You know no matter what it is. I mean if you, if you look. I just remember going back. I mean, the history of Lenore Ryan, what they've what they've accomplished. Newberry every single year is a really really good program. Yeah. Wingate, Coach Reich. I mean, they just it's consistent. You know, they consistently win. Uh, Catawba's nobody to you know. You can't take it. It's it's just every week. Carson Newman. You know, you got uh, Tuscan. I mean, it's every week. There are players on every team. And uh, and I think everybody in this conference knows that. And so what they do is they go out and they try to do the best they can to bring talent in and they, they do the best they can to develop talent. And I think everybody agree. I think it's really going to be us, us uh, you know, it's really going to be based upon how we perform and how we approach and how we how we uh, compete week in and week out. And that's why I think our, our biggest competitor is going to be ourselves. You know, we got to get out of our way first and figure out who we are in order to be able to show up on Saturdays and play some really, really good teams week in and week out. And that's what the SAC wants, and that's what the SAC has. And obviously, as you mentioned earlier, that's why teams want to join the SAC. Absolutely. All right, so last thing each year, you know, a team has kind of a motto or a credo that they kind of follow. Obviously, you said you're talking about your your team being its own rival. But what is kind of your motto this year as you go into 2022 and, and to get the team going? Yeah, and I, I think our the biggest thing, obviously, is, you know, our, our slogan this year, if you haven't seen it, it's all over Twitter, is to just level up. You know, in life, uh, in, in life, life is not easy, you know, for any of us. Yep. There's always going to be situations in life that either deter us from becoming something that we're supposed to become or gets in our way and we want to go backwards and not go through it because of, you know, maybe we're not tough enough yet, or maybe we're not strong enough yet, or we're not mature enough yet. And the biggest thing, and it's obviously biblical, when you talk about uh, putting your hope in something, you know, putting your mind in something, when you're locked in on something, uh, it's like a video game. When you, when you do something really good, you level up, like your character yeah. levels up. Uh, when you become more mature, you level up. When you become uh, stronger in the weight room, you level up. When you when you become more consistent on the field, you level up. You know, when you become more accountable, you level up. And so uh, that that's kind of our thing this year. And we're we're challenging our day in and day out to level up and uh, to become better. You know, to become a better video game character or to become. <laughs> better in regards to your faith of being more balanced and more patient and having more peace in your life to be able to go do stuff and and uh so that that's kind of our slogan going into this year it's not it's not wins it's not beating somebody but it's it's just making sure on a daily basis that we're leveling up in life uh rather that's becoming a better man a better person a, you know better husband someday a better father someday you're leveling up in our program and i just feel uh as we do that you know, obviously, we'll be able to put a program out there that's respected, uh, out there that's going to compete week in and week out. And obviously, as you know, that'll allow you to have an opportunity to win some games. That's awesome. I, I like that. We may have to keep that over here. We're, we want to level up the sack overall. I like that one. It's good. And, 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 you know, to be honest with you, and I'm not just saying this because you're on here, you know, I think when you look at uh, what, uh, you know, Patrick's doing and, and – uh, you know, all the guys, uh, you know, just uh, it's it's amazing coming back to the sack or, or going to be in the NFL, you know, for the last four years, you still heard about the sack. Yep. You know, you, you knew about the sack, you know, and uh, all the way from the logo to what it stands for, how it's ran. Uh, you know, the referee meeting that we just had with, with uh, Jack, I mean, the way it's just organized, uh, there's an importance. And I think there's an importance in the sack to develop kids, uh, to make sure we're doing things the right way, to help kids evolve, level mm -hmm. up. And uh, yep. and I, I think that's really neat. And so obviously, like I mentioned earlier, we're really proud to be part of that. But level up is something that we're going to do here at Limestone on a daily basis. And 
hopefully we'll be able to represent the SAC in the right way. Well, we're uh, very proud to have Limestone and, and all of our members, obviously, but uh, glad to have you back in the SAC, Mike. Uh, nice to, to see your face again. But, um, you know, this has uh, been, been great, and I uh, appreciate it, uh, you taking the time to talk with us. So this is Coach Mike Fury from Limestone as we get ready for the 2022 season.